Hello viewers and welcome to the first episode of a series I'm going to be posting on my channel consisting of the audio from a Pathfinder game I GM'd. It's going to consist of the raw audio with some minimal editing to cut out tangents and breaks and the like, but otherwise it's just going to be me and some friends messing around in Pathfinder. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the continent of Akithis. A land shaped not only by the will of its people and the vying of nations, but by the light of the constellations above. It is a place where the glories of old empires are finally being reclaimed, where the stars can grant people power over natural law, and the Creator and his seven archangels watch from their heavenly dominions, seeking to keep balance in the universe they created. It is a time of tenuous alliances, discovery, intrigue, and great change. A time where sword and spell find themselves alongside musket and cannon, and all are left wondering what the future has in store. This is the tale of the reclamation of the province of Blackamoor. Fifty years ago, it was met with some calamity, and has since been overrun with monsters from the blackest depths, strange blights, and foul magics. It is a cursed land where only the mad, desperate, and the destitute live. However, the eyes of the Rao Trade Guild and those of their rivals to the north are now beginning to turn towards Blackmoor, with the intent of taming the cursed soil. For Blackmoor was once a prosperous land owing to its location as a hub of sea trade, and whomever controls the now decrepit ports and harbors would have an immense advantage over their opposition. Before we begin, I would like to give a brief overview of the player's characters. I originally planned to have a segment for character intros in this video, but I realized that would make it longer than it already is. I may remake this video in the future if I feel it would be better to have the intros here, but for now, I'm going to make it its own separate video, which you should be able to watch by clicking up in the top right of the screen. Hey, this is a great... <laughs> All right, so as uh, as you move into the bar with your incredible perception check, um, you sort of, after like looking at the tall men go back, you notice something odd in the crowd. There are some, a uh, uh, couple of men that have, are just sort of standing around uh, who have spears of some kind, and they don't seem to be doing anything except just sitting there eyeing the crowd. I mean, there are, and there are guards nearby. There are uh, guards from the association there. All of you guys actually notice this and find it odd. Coulter, uh, you're pretty sure they've been there for most of the day. I am going Sort of moving around to different places, but... but where, so where is this in relevance? So I was, I was outside right the here. bar doors, okay. So they're sort of like yeah. around this area. All right, so basically I'm walking yeah. in as he's walking out. And specifically out you're noticing one of them is actually, yourself. looks like they might, they're picking a fight with one of the association guards okay, at the door, okay. which, so, which even in your drunken stupor, yeah. you can see is so something, weird. seems to, in your head, something oh. of a bad <laughs> idea, seeing as this guy has a spear of some kind, mm -hmm. and the association guards are armed with muskets. So pretty much... Let me just paint a picture real quick so I can get my yeah. physical layout. Um, he's walking out. You're at your stall. Mm -hmm. I'm walking towards the bar, but pretty much I see him walking out with all of his stuff on him, and I'm like, my like, damn, I don't want to pick a fight with him. And in that moment when I turn around to see what he's got on him, I see those people. Yeah. So pretty much I don't even make it in. I turn around, I'm like, I'm like oh, something's happening. Coins are a little okay. bit more mm -hmm. convenient. Yeah. Up. yeah, this way we have actual dice to use. Uh, I don't think I need a roll of Force, nobody ever needs D force. <laughs> unless you're a mage. Unless you're a mage. No, Aaron, nobody needs D force because mages who use those would be useless. <laughs> Who much is? <laughs> Basically, she just called every mage lower than level five completely and utterly useless. Mm. Uh, it's not, not uh, a lie. It's really not. <laughs> so we've all turned around and we have seen and these two people, mm -hmm. and I picked up on the fact that it looks like one of them is. Trying to start a fight. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, I'm assuming I have a bow and quiver on my stall. Um, do you have a bow? I don't own one, but I mean selling wise. Um, sure. Okay. Just like a normal. Actually, no, you aren't a bow maker. That's damn it. Um, 
Do I have throwing daggers? Yeah. You do. Wow, this is gonna be dangerous. Though. You know what you're gonna do. Uh, I'm, I'm basically gonna pick up the best like pole arm or ranged weapon I can find on my stand and just hold it there. Like, I'm gonna keep this by my person. <laughs> All right. Hammers aren't great for range. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I make them great for range. <laughs> so you have... Um, so you have the, the guild hall is like all the way kind of over here. Okay. But you have these... And again, looking closer, they seem to be wearing a similar getup as well. Okay. You've got here, one here, one here, one here here, and one uh, larger, more intimidating guy w- without a spear, uh, with some sort of, like, a, a dirk, like, yeah. sort of, uh, you know, thick short sword, okay. parrying dagger sort of deal, uh, next to this cart. Ooh, good idea to <laughs> see the... Yeah. This is a guy, too. Yep. Yeah. And... As, um, uh, and if you guys want to keep watch, are you guys going to just watch this play out? No, quick question. So all of these guys are, they look to be wearing the similar outfits? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. They look to be wearing some sort of, uh, travel cloaks, you know, sort of a drab, okay. gray, brown sort of deal. Right, yeah. I'm watching, I'm watching. Uh, and you see, um, uh, the one arguing with the guard, it looks like they start uh, yelling um, uh, and the one uh, thug there actually just goes and decks the guard right in the face and then sprints off into the alleyway all right. as setting a chase on and all the other three guards there, you know, mm-hmm. give Give Chase a fixed bayonet, the whole shtick. Okay. Right. And right as this happened, all of these um, uh, men start to move yeah, so I keep on the other guys. towards so um, uh, the market stall here. And the one next to the horse uh, begins leading the horse carriage around. Are you guys going to do anything? Hell yeah. Um, um, my weapons last a minute, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. So I'm, I'm like here, I guess. I wanna... Where, where do you say the association was? Over here? Uh, over that way. It's like right. up the street. Far enough away that it's not gonna matter for this fight. Okay. Unless you guys get into some like weird, like, you know, Benny, you know, Q-Benny, Q-Benny Hill theme chase all around. I've kind of got an idea on this situation on my one field. Hunter, where is your character at? Uh, right here. You're there. I'm going to move. Well, I plan on moving more towards here. Keep my same path that I'm going, but I'll try to maybe intercept, bump into one of these guys that's walking. Maybe this guy. If he's heading into the market. All right. Yeah. So, intercept for all intercept right. Him as well, like, and as you begin here. moving, um, the one bandit here, um, or you've probably guessed what they are by now. Yeah, they're bandits. Thugs. There levels his, you know, he had had it over his shoulder, or whatever. Levels his spear at the shopkeeper and screams, you know, give us all your goods, or I'll gut you like a fish. Roll for initiative. So roll a d20 and add your dicks. What did Matt roll? Matt 20! Oh! Alright, and what, what did Royce get? Comes up to a 21 level. 15. Alright. 20 plus... Did you just roll another? 20. You... Roll a 20. No. What do I get? Plus you go for that 20s. 23. Plus <laughs> next. Oh, shit. It means you auto go first. If you, 20, 20s are like critical success. Okay, cool. 
Yeah. So, and I get to make the first move. But much. the thing is, one of the bandits rolled a nat 22. I rolled a nat 20. So, <laughs> one, you have a tie, you go on whose dex score is higher. What is your dex? Uh, his dex is three. My dex is one. Okay, so you go first, then the bandit, then Coulter. So, okay. um, um, Richard is actually going first in this fight. Again, I find it funny that the drunk is the most agile. <laughs> he's, he's perceptive. He's fucking ready. Um, so the, I mean, yes, he's, he has arms. Exactly. I don't think he's ready. This, he's the one who's the, got the the, the, spear, the spear pointed at, at the, this yeah. shopkeeper, okay. and this one, the others have you know started taking out weapons. Uh, this guy, you know, he was apparently hiding like a buckler okay, underneath yeah. his coat. So he's been ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So I'm going to move on the man at the stall. So again, you get a move action okay. and a standard. You can move six squares is your thing, right. so... Um, just... Yeah, it no, might be easier to stand for yeah, some of this. Yeah, it's probably going to be if I just stay up. You take a jab and move. Alright, so um, And just so you know, uh, for some of these fights, I am using what is known as the minion system. Okay. Essentially, minions allow me as a GM to have you guys fight, you know, huge groups of, you know, mooks without, ah, with, what, that are still somewhat dangerous without completely overpowering you guys. So what a number of these bandits are going to be are minions. Minions have the same stats as a normal enemy of their type, but they only have one hit point. Okay. So they basically go down as soon as you actually manage to damage them. Alrighty. They still hit as hard as a normal person, so they can still overwhelm you, but... And okay. some of them, I won't say how many, but at least one of them is not Alrighty. a minion. So I'm gonna go... Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four... Uh, five... How close are these, like, what, what is the... Each one is feet? a five-foot square. Okay, okay. You can hit okay. things... As, Generally, you can, with melee, hit things the next square over. Okay. And then with a gun? With um, ten, ten what ammo do you have loaded? Uh, I have loaded uh, Sprite Shot. All right. Because honestly, that's what I keep So, just so you know, though, it's an AOE attack. Okay. If you were to shoot, you would hit the shock. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So you can um, try and get, like, an angle on him or but something? See, that's kind of my thought, is is I, I figured the shotgun blast would be kind of dangerous. But what I am thinking is, is I might be able to instill fear. All right. I'm going to get here, and I'm going to roll Intimidate. So that way you see All right. Yeah. Put up a shotgun to, or a blunderbuss. Pretty much. I'm going to put the blunderbuss like yeah. right there. All right. Like, yeah. So make me, that. actually, yeah, that's going to be a standard action. So okay. roll me Intimidate. With, I'm going to plus your Intimidate. Plus your intimidate. I, I'm going to give you a plus two bonus for, you know, the blunderbuss to his head. Hell yeah. So you have a six already. Right. So you get a plus eight. Okay, cool. So we'll get something good. That's, That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> he has a plus um, of 19. All right, so... So what does this mean? I, I got a really high thing. 10. So I... Did I scare... I scared him? Basically, you're going up against his, uh, what is it? Will? Um, nope, it's 42? based on his hit die, which is really oh. his hit die and wisdom, which is really low. That's really weird. Um, so basically, you have him shaken Great. for uh, two rounds. <laughs> for two rounds, he is scared enough. He is taking minus two to all of his rolls. Beautiful. So I pretty much put the shotgun to the back of his head, and I'm like, I'm like, you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> pretty much. I, I put it to the back of his head, and my exact words are. Uh, Exact words were. <laughs> you, you might want to. You might want to hold. Hold on. <coughs> you might want to think twice before pointing a spear at someone, boy. So shotgun there. What's with the irony? I don't know. I kind of want the whole idea of him being an irony. Yeah. Okay. That works. That works. I would love to see that uh, when you're not drunk, you're like talking. Oh yeah, <laughs> drunk Irish. Normal when he comes back. Right. Oh my. So next Honestly, is actually like uh, the big old thug bandit, and he is going to move uh, five, ten, and he is going to um, red. I'm um, uh, you know, stand there, stance ready. Uh, and yell towards all the 
uh, shopkeepers and all of the people just sort of in the square. No, don't anyone think of leaving. Alrighty, I'm just gonna Put, and walk out. <laughs> give us, give us your valuables, and we won't have to do anything unpleasant to you. I don't even know what accents I just gave him. It sounded thuggish enough. So. Yeah, I agree. It was thuggy. I got it. Give him a New York style accent. <laughs> All right. So that's him and Coulter. It's now your turn. So actually, well, technically, he's doing he's doing a demoralize as well. Okay. Um. Is it one target or is it AOE? I can never remember. One opponent. So he's. I'm just sort of gonna aim it at like a shopkeeper or something, which he yeah, he's he made it. One of the shopkeep so, you know. ah. back. Alright. So uh, what is Makarov going to do? Never. Dragon for me. What? Five. Right off the top of that! Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen foot breath weapon! Fire! But you, ha you have to do an action for the transformation, if oh. I'm not mistaken. Mm, that's not sure. Uh, it's your, it's it's your shapeshift like, ability. It's not a physical transformation. Yeah, it's, you still have to apply your blank form, though, which is the shapeshift. Oh. Yeah, I, I neglected I to mention... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the first thing that comes to mind is like, I'm here. Oh, I'm just... Gun in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm a scary guy. That's a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think Coulter neglected to mention that he's yeah. a bloody dragon descendant. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. I shape shift right. then because it's a standard yeah. action. And it's a, you need to be have a spell point to make it, it stick without concentration, yeah? I have a spell point. I've got plenty of spell points. And how long does it last? Um, that lasts... Long enough, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a round. It for one minute. Oh. Per caster level. Okay. So you lost a spell point, and are you doing just the partial giving yourself a breath weapon or going whole hog? I'm giving myself a breath weapon. I'm not going whole hog. Okay. Yet. Not though. All right. So six, six your next turn, you'll be able to use that. Round length. Hmm? Six, six seconds round length. Seven. Seven. Okay. Basically, you just watch a random ass shopkeeper jump over his stall, walk up, and just have his eyes roll back into his heads with draconic eyes replacing it. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty metal. It's pretty okay. metal. Oh, you do have to make your 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 check. Which check? Um, remember, you you took the skilled casting drawback. You need oh, to make yeah, your that one. Uh, check to not lose the spell. Never mind. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay, that, you know what? You know what? That moment is just too cool to waste. I'll give you. You know what? Screw it. I'll give you guys action points or whatever. I'm a benevolent god. I am a benevolent god. Honestly, he is. <laughs> from from now on, no no freebies. Okay. It's in it's in appreciation for grabbing the pizza. It is your payment. Damn it! I wish I'd gotten that, because that would have been enough. Yeah. All right. It's a Again, it, in Ugh. in recognition of uh, your accomplishments as pizza delivery boy, I'll give that to you. Okay. Next round, your transformation will be good. Okay. All right. Like half of these. Voice down. Next is uh Can is uh, Royce. Uh, Royce is gonna go. Um, so do you do your breath weapon or oh, no? no. no he, he spent his action like activating his transformation magic. So now he's scary as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this guy? Well, no, that's a dragon. Hmm? Just what is he this? just the raw uh, weapon. <laughs> he seems to have. Well, he seems to have a crossbow under his cloak, but he has a buckler and a, a dirk. You know, a big old fat stabby short sword. Yeah. Dirk. 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 Uh, <laughs> and he does uh, have his buddy here with a spear who is covering him. Can I keep ready actions in this? Yes. I, I'll i take one, one step So forward. do you remember if you get within range of his spear? Because he has like a 10-foot radius. So I'm safe here, though. Right? Yes. Okay. There was, uh, okay. the, he'll get basically a tax of opportunity. If an opponent can hit you, but you can't hit them, they get a free attack on you. So be that with like a spear, okay. or if you're running by an opponent without like stopping to engage them, they get a free... So I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll uh, so step there, draw my 
That's my action, all right? Drawing my weapon. Um, you can... Actually, you can draw a weapon as part of a move action. Okay, so, so. I'll, I'll draw my, my Bastard Sword. Um, I'll say... Get on some. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> oh, but you get your favorite oh, no. enemy bonus, don't you? Oh, I do, yeah. Being completely they say, honest. when it's about to get awesome, it's that point where it does not get awesome. <laughs> say, put your weapons down and leave. This will not end well for you. And I'll ready in action, so if they get close to me, I'll take a sword down. All right. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's that moment when you're sleeping in a tavern and decide, hey, these guys have lanterns. Those are worth a lot. Walk out and nobody notices. That's the moment it gets awesome. <laughs> um, As a freaking dragon. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is it. now the bandit's turn. Uh, this one, you know, jumps with surprise. And whilst Where? technically <laughs> Pathfinder doesn't have this rule, I have retained it from 3rd edition. The downside to spears and, like, reach weapons, you can't attack people Right, right next to you. Like so he's like going that. to jump, use his five, his free five foot step. Another Which rule: not if, you, if you don't move in a turn, you do get a free five foot step that doesn't trigger any free attacks. Okay. He jumps back ah! and you know swings his yeah. spear around and he tries to uh -huh. make so a I'm... sort of lopsided swing at you. Okay. So he is going to sling it, roll. Lopsided swing at you, and he cuts you through it. And that'll be enough. Holy crap! Uh, what is your AC? My, my what? Armor class. Armor class. Armor class. 16. He's got a minus 2. Uh, 14. And he beat it by 1. Damn it. The demoralize, the intimidate you did almost made a miss. It's still not super, like, dangerous. Uh -huh. Uh, unless he rolls like max damage or something, so uh, take four points. Okay. Wow! But does he even have any strength? Right here. Uh, no. That sucks. Oh yeah, he doesn't have. Any. It looks intimidating right now, but I wouldn't worry too much about seven HP. Uh, oh, and for your information, he is officially out of um uh, <laughs> shopkeeper's. Perfect. Perfect. Because I'm going to shoot the shit out of him. Um, can I shoot from where I stand currently? Or should I... Um, can I move? It's a 15-foot cone. I kind of want to get close. Step, step to so yeah, five-foot yeah. free step, get within... Yeah. Actually, uh, all of the bandits do get their turn, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this guy is going to move five... I was going to say it, but I didn't want to say it. Uh... Scary yeah! And is going to rah, stab you. <laughs> and he's going to. I don't think a six is going to hit you. Come at me, bro. I'm still kind of just putting these guys to like a wide area, sort of be annoying. This guy is going to move actually into the fight. 5, 10, 15. 20, and this guy's actually going to spend his standard action to just start stealing crap from that cart. Just like bags of stuff, just throw it over his shoulder. He's in the wrong place! Uh, and this, this guy readies an action, stab anyone that gets within range of my spear, okay. which is in addition to his normal free attack. And this guy is actually, actually no. This guy's going to five foot step. Um... As is this guy. Can and I swing, him both I swing at him when he gets close? Because I ready to Five foot. Oh, you do have a ready to action, yeah. so yeah. What's up? Do you, uh, uh, you get an attack bonus, though, from favorite enemy, right? Uh, yeah. Or is it just a damage bonus? Let me take a look. Is it just a plus two in general? Bonus to attack, damage, and slash. Okay, bonus. then yeah. So, 11. Holy crap, can I, there. can I use my reroll? Or? <sighs> 11. Alright, that misses. These guys have decent AC for level ones. And the Spearman is um, uh, essentially just going to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he misses, because I don't think a 9 is going to hit you. No, thankfully, no. Well, Clink. My uh, shitty swing actually reflects his blood. You're not gonna like what I do next. Oh no. Because I just read through that dragon form. Are you going full dragon form or just the breath weapon trait? By going full dragon form, I get a 30 foot cone. 
but you're going to take up a lot more space. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's you, true. you said you were just doing the breath weapon last turn. You can't I'll keep the breath weapon. I already this gave is, you your, your one bit of DM grease. <laughs> Am I up now? Um. Okay. Yes, actually. Okay, cool. Is this the guy? Yeah, this guy. Oh, yeah, him. Um, he is he's going. The, is he the one that the guards are chasing? No, okay. he's off. Okay. You know, he's cube off. any hill theme they're running uh -huh. through. This is, that guy's actually just going to move in, uh, as well, just his full six squares, and he's actually going to meet next to the horse, kind of. Right here. Yeah. Okay. I hope I didn't make this fight too hard. It was designed for four players, but I think you guys can handle it. I think yeah, this is party wipe. Again, <laughs> most <laughs> party wipe. again, oh. most of these guys are minions. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it All is right. now uh, so, Richard's turn. Hmm. When it gets point blank, it is a shotgun. Is it effective still, or is it? It's like still effective. Through? Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that it would be pretty dangerous because, like. With a shotgun, you want to be as close as you yeah, can. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm thinking I move up on foot. this guy. Yeah, because I'm pissed. So, should I move? Um, no. Diagonal. Just straight up. Like you can't attack you. He can't attack you because yeah, yeah, yeah. you your, your free five foot step doesn't give him any free okay, attacks so with his stupid right. spear. You're moving within, within the curve. Right. Sure. All right. So, I'm going to shoot him in the face. That's actually kind of so All right. You're control. ignoring all of his. Roll, so, roll in your 20. 20. And add to the and attack bonus. Fight. Okay. Um, he doesn't get any of his armor bonus, so Ooh, it's point blank. Got a nine that time. Plus, plus five. So that, fourteen. That hits. Okay, cool. Uh, roll me whatever the damage is. I think it's like a D eight. It's D eight. Um, so you roll one D eight. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. One that has only eight Sorry. No bonus, but still. Hey. Yeah. And so the, they did it the, the thug just yeah. There's a hole blown straight through him. You can see daylight through the other side. So so I get up on him. I take the shot. Boom! He's down. And immediately after, I look down at my coat where he he hit me. I'm like, like ow! Bastard ripped me coat. <laughs> Angry about the coat and getting hurt. All right. Can you next um, reload this turn? He um, uh, no, he to took his five-foot yeah. step. If he did it, could he shoot and then reload this turn? Or? Um, no, because it's still a standard to reload. He uses standard to fire. Is there a feat or something that gives him the ability to... Um, he can get it down more yeah. through, like, equipment bonuses and, like, certain, like, right. archetypes and yeah, stuff. Cool. If Aaron would let me, I could also make, like, a repeating rifle for you. No, I'm not giving you guys cowboy repeat. Oh, damn it, that would have been so <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a little up a bit. Let's change this one. Repeating All right. <laughs> I'm sorry you're getting double teamed by the two best of <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I'll, I'll be freed up here. It? So don't worry about it. He's a bounty hunter with a scar for a reason, okay? He's got the scar because he knows how to handle it. All right. Well, fortunately, um, Mr. Elite Bandit here is rolling like garbage. Um, and I don't, <laughs> because he is. And I don't think a 12 is going to hit you. Are they... Uh, don't I go before them now? Uh, no. That the elite bandit actually rolled the next one. Okay. Yeah. It is now Makarov's turn. Five foot step. Um, just reading through this, it, uh, it's a breath weapon that is given by the dragon base form, so it's the same one that would have been given if I had chosen dragon form, correct? Yes. Okay. I and, believe so. It, and, look at the traits that are added to the blank form list. Or the yes. List. I've got the whole okay, list yeah. of uh, dragon transformation up. And it says it's either a 60 foot line or a 30 foot line. Chosen time of transform. Yeah. Um, it's 1d8 damage because I don't have two caster levels. Um, so it's a 30 so foot So you guys are the, the party of the d8 damage type. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Actually, yeah. Um, so 30 foot cone, I'm going to blast these two guys that are right in front of me. Um. 5, 10, yep. I mean, you're going to catch the card on fire, but... That's not my problem. What is the saving throw on that? <laughs> um, it's a base dragon weapon. Um, so... Save for half damage. Oh, and... Er, let me just check uh, how you calculate... You get to choose your breath weapon type. 
I'm pretty sure you yeah, should. Yeah, I, I get to choose it, but my shtick is fire. Okay. I, wasn't, so, I didn't know if you could choose every single time you transformed, or... It was technically like he can, but, but he's I, basically saying I only have fire. It makes sense, being a blacksmith with a fire in the forest. Ten, plus half the caster level, plus casting ability modifier, so... What's that going to be, a twelve? Uh, hold up. Uh, my casting ability, yeah, I think. Now one, <laughs> and one actually made it. Okay, well... So one... Four points of damage. Um... This I'm guy, great, this one dies, that one actually, because minions to compensate for them having one health, if they make a save, they count as if they have evasion. Yeah. That guy is barely saved by the cart. All he's, right. he's sort Which of... Which is now on fire. Yes. <laughs> he sort of, like, ducks behind the cart. And his, you know, his hair is all singed off. Beautiful. Oh, no, God, you can do that every turn, can't you? I have to wait 1d4 turns. So, hey, you do need D4. Two. Two. Yeah. Two, Two turns before yeah. I can blow that up. <laughs> um, would cleave work if I'm there? Cause yes. They work. If I take a five foot step, I'm not swinging. Uh, head honcho first. All right. Hey, uh, you're some Miko. Oh, oh, oh no. that's so unlucky. Uh, Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Um, you do get the other attack, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure I only get the other attack. Nope, it just, ah, uh, that's 3.5 cleave. All right. Yeah. In Pathfinder, it's just, you get two attacks against Sweet. two different Ooh. targets. That sucks, too. <laughs> uh, 11. Did you hit anybody? I'm going to use this die. No. Okay, yeah, I This guy for skills was... So, cool. you missed both of them, but at least Spearmen can't stab you immediately. Well, I mean, you take a step back. Yeah. I would definitely take a step back before they change. All right. So next in initiative is uh, Royce. Oh, oh no, you just, just went. Yeah, just so now it's the other stopped. bandit's turn. Um, oh, this one died. Yeah. Dead. Very dead. Very much so. That one <laughs> is um, 5, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25, 30. <laughs> I like how he just like, he's like, I'll get behind the other guy. Ready for cover, perfect. All right. You guys haven't even seen half the shit I can do. <laughs> just, the thing is, you aren't even a real mage. You just picked up like all of the weird like level one powers <laughs> that let you do like cool but not necessarily effective things. Yeah. Like being able to pull bows, uh, pull bows out of nowhere. And just. Um. Yeah. This guy is going to. <sighs> you know, part of him wants to run away because he just saw a huge gal. Fire. The other part <laughs> wants to try and stab you. Um, Aaron, he still has light of sight on me. I think he saw more than just a huge ball of fire. I think it was. You know what? Let's see how suicidal he's feeling today. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. A Fifteen. I'm pretty suicidal. He's pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna say he's, he's ready to. Yeah, he and his witties. All right. He charges Coulter. Damn. Do I get an attack of opportunity to see it's moving away? Yes. Ooh, slash him. <laughs> I get the go like No, I don't get the So actually he ends up here pretty much. And he does get his plus two bonus for his charge. Okay. But does. I think a 20 hits you. Two. So take. That's gonna hurt. Ow. That really did hurt. Ow! Max? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I Pretty think this fight may have been too strong for you guys, but Sorry. Well we'll be we'll we'll be, we'll get it. We got He's this. dead. Oh shit. Yeah. How how bad did he hurt you though? I'm four HP. <laughs> Damn. Out of twelve. He's knocking a lot of us around, huh? We're getting knocked around a bit. I did I forgot no, how bloody oh, you're good. I well you. nobody's hit you. <laughs> I forgot how bloody <laughs> effective spears were at level one. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, damn, yeah. they're, they're hurting me. Reach. I mean, they're granted, if it's any concession, I have planned to have a side quest to give you guys a nifty artifact spear later in the campaign, so, you know, uh, karma's a bitch and all that, so. <laughs> I agree. Alright. That is top of the round. These guys, this guy's actually trying to get the horse ready. This guy has jumped up oh, on shit. the horse. You're being flanked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yes, yeah, top of the round. Okay. So it's me? Yep. Okay, cool. So, all right. Um, and we are going to have to wrap up after the end of this fight. Yeah, sure. That's cool. Um, and I have how many feet can I move? 30? Yep, so okay. six squares. Um, do you want to reload? Do, yeah. Because that's a definite. Yeah, so it's a standard reload. Okay. You can do it while moving. Okay. And do keep in mind that that card is on fire. Okay, yeah. So. There's a horse attached to her. Two of them. Yeah. It's caught on fire. Um, so if I want to reload and move, what do I have to do to do that? You get a standard and a move, so your standard is to reload. Okay. And, and then, then I can move. And then you can move. Okay. So I'm you loading up move. single shot or scatter shot. Um, what's your call on this one? Or you know what? Uh, to be honest, you know, I want to. I want to kind of be. I, I kind of want my guy. To, he's he's still drunk, so he's he's kind of playing his cards here. He's felt lucky. So can I have him move then reload? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what I want to do is I actually want to get. Because I don't know anything about him, but he's apparently fighting the same people that I am. So I'm going to move col uh, closer to him. So I'm going to go. I'm going to steal this if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Five, ten. Can I go fifteen? Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen. And I'm right next to him. Mm -hmm. And I can see he's very clearly enraged still. Yeah, he has a spear. Yeah, in exactly. His, in his so he's very angry. So uh, I I tap you on the shoulder and I go, go, hey, should I do a, a big shot? Should I do a single shot? What you think? What you think? <laughs> and be, be warned. Right. I know that you're very angry, stabbed, and I'm still. Coulter's response. Drunk. The subtitles are roars incomprehensibly <laughs> in Germanic, <laughs> <laughs> or just angry dragon noises. Perfect. Honestly, my character's just gonna turn to you and go, "What the hell?" Okay. Uh, so basically, I, I get no immediate readout. So I immediately look back and like, I'm like. Single shot of this. So I load it down with the single shot. All right. That's going to be good because you don't get the accuracy penalty from the scatter right. and you aren't going to be hitting possible allies. Pretty much my thought was I'm just like, I don't want to shoot any comrades right now. All right. Next is Mr. Big Bandit, who is looking a little bit, uh, yeah. He's going to take a swipe at you and then try and move away to the cart. Um, yes, and an 18 hits you. Um, so he's going to deal. Where's D6? Um, please don't. Please, please don't have this critical. Oh my god. I have a D6. Oh. Yeah. These, he actually hits, like, not as hard. He's more tanky, though. So take six points. Okay. And do you keep in mind that hit okay, so points. Hard. Hit cool. points don't necessarily equate how many times you can be stabbed. It's your general how long you can survive in combat. Okay. So, like, a level 20 barbarian is going to have, like, 200 HP. It doesn't mean you can stick a knife in his eyeball several times. Yeah. It means he's gotten good enough at combat that... So he can, uh, he can cool you hit him, you hit him, but the blow is a deflection, and it just cuts his arm. Yeah. 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 Critical damage. Okay. So that was yeah. him. Um, actually, it's Coulter. Or his character, uh, Ma Makarov. Okay. Hey, Aaron. Yes? What's the best polar? Uh, I'm, pers I'm rather personal to geese arms. Mainly because I like trip spamming people, but that's just me. Cool. 2d4 damage. Guess what I'm summoning? Isn't that a standard action, though? Mm, movement. Oh. Again, with all your weird, <laughs> like, again, this guy, he's not a real mage, he just got all of, like, the weird, like, first level powers. I summon a geese arm. Alright. And I shank him with it. So how does this look? Sort of. Basically, pulls hammer off belt, swings hammer midair, hits an invisible plate of metal, and a geese arm appears right in front of him, which he preemptively grabs and stabs the man. That's pretty metal. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that works. I promise. What did you get? It's awful. Trust me. Damn um, it. You guys it are rolling like a minute. I don't know. 
You guys are rolling like skills are real well, but I didn't do too bad. I felt like I was efficient. I mean, yeah, you're honestly the best at killing the dead. Where did I put my dog in all of this? Oh yeah, where is your dog? I don't know. I appreciate that. I appreciate that you killed that guy. Um, where's my base attack? It's plus one. Almost plus one? Okay, well that's a six. I promise, guys, I'm great at this. <laughs> uh, the pains of level one. The pains of level one. Uh, Alright, it is Royce's turn now. Um, I'd highly recommend stabbing something. Yeah, I'm gonna stab the guy in front of me. Uh, the big guy or the mook with the spear? Guy. I was gonna say, go for big at this point. He's a dangerous man. Get those man. delicious crits. Something. Fifteen. Hit. Close, but no cigar. Damn it. Holy shit. He's, he's a... He has armor underneath. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much ready. He's basically got leather, like, leather... He was hiding this under, like, his travel coat, but he's basically got leather, leather reinforced okay. with, like, bits of metal and chain. So pretty much he's got stealth armor. Like, it's armor, but it's very yeah. well clothed. I got you. I got a question for you. How do you feel about being singed? Uh, no, Colton! <laughs> I have six health, so I would like it. I would um, honestly kill you if I did. I take... Can I move, right? Yes. I don't battle me. I'll stay right there. All right. It's okay, murdering an assistant civilian is fine, right? Um and he's got the he's got the staff too, right? So yeah. I reach on him. I yeah. have ten foot okay. reach as well, so if he moves I get an attack of opportunity. Oh yeah. I like it. That helps me, thank you. This guy's actually in a bit of a predicament. He can five foot step, but doing so I mean he could move there, but then he puts himself in range of getting shotgunned like his friend. So actually, this guy doesn't have a lot of good options available to him. If he moves this way, he's screwed. If he moves this way, he's screwed. Um, he's kind of in a bad situation. Yeah. I guess he really was suicidal. Um, he's going to uh, 5, 10, attack of opportunity. 15, 20, yep. Yeah. You get your swipe at him. Damn it, they're clustering up in the car. They're trying to get they're trying to get away. They're trying to get away. Ten. No. Oh. <laughs> Why are you guys rolling so badly? I'm done with this guy. Alright, this guy hops in too, and he says, Big man, get over here. And um that is going to be their turn. They've all just all the ones who have actions left are just readying to stab anyone who okay. tries to get in the cart. So at this point, it's my turn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I see that he's okay. He's in danger, but he's also fighting bad men who's just starting shit. So I know that this guy must be friendly. So I go to hell. All right. Uh, and at this point, I'm reloaded, correct? Yes, okay. you are reloaded with a single shot. And I can do 30, 30 yep. feet? Okay. So no. Five. Yeah, okay. I, can't, I can't step that way. You can, no. I thought you were going to I step recommend not getting way. right up in his face, because you will provoke a free attack if you use like a, yeah. a ranged weapon. Can like I get here? Face. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You were able to get away with the ranged weapon in melee against the you spear get, guy, because he couldn't stab yeah. you. You can exactly. move six squares. Yeah, so you can like move, get like an angle on him. Is this a bush here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Got cover. Ultimate stealth. Ultimate and stealth. Okay. blam. Am I gonna be able? Can I reach him from here? Yeah. Yeah. Five, ten. Yeah. So I can reach him. Uh, aim, aim here. So yeah. You don't hit me. He does no. have single shots. So yeah. He's so you're going with three shot. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought was like. Yeah, I like, you you like, like okay. I think um, actually you may be taking a minus two for firing into a melee fight. Okay. But what you could actually do is um uh, hold your action. Um, Actually, I'm, isn't there an aim feature in this? No, okay. not in this game. But it's you could like point. hold hold an action, and I don't generally suggest strategy. But you know what you could do? I could yell at him to move, or push push the guy. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't move last. Why? Well, wait a second. I can I can still do something. I will tell you, your strength is way better than than his. So if you wanted to, you could. I could. So I shove. Ready. There's ready in actions for when I push him. Yeah. So I'm gonna ready up an action, and I'm I, I shout I shout. Give him a shove! I pretty much just like, you gotta get up. Yeah. Get up. yeah. Just do a little, do a little. I don't, I don't do it. I stab <laughs> Screw off! <laughs> Can I see the book quickly? Yeah, sure. Um, Alright. So, <laughs> yep, next is the big bandit. He is uh, reconsidering his life choices. 
and he is going to. Um, oh damn it! Oh, what is he gonna do? If he moves toward the cart, you get that opportunity. I was gonna say because that's yeah. the first thing that I'm thinking he's gonna do is he's gonna move to that damn. Well, he does. Yeah. I get swing, right? Yep. You get a first swing. Yeah, he doesn't want to get stabbed, so well, he's, I missed him. he's going to five foot so. step diagonally and try and keep you between. Son of a bitch! And he's smart too. He's I don't like this guy. Gonna swing at you okay. and Screw fail him. by rolling a four. Like, yeah, oh, thank God. He's in a great spot. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he's probably. Oh, right. It is four, your turn now, Coulter. Right. Right. One more round, Aaron. What are you gonna do in the meantime? Just get in line. Five. And I'm gonna stab him with my pole arm now. That works. Which so you is can two, even you could even move over a little bit more. Oh, that's and then stab him, one. and then you have line on these guys for next turn if they don't move. Yeah. Or well, or has he has the guy on the horse had any success in actually getting the horse to do anything? He, um, he's, he's got reins. Waited for his friends. He's okay. got the reins. So up. he's ready. Yeah. What did you roll? Dice hate me. That's an eleven. Uh, Damn it. Wait, don't you need to add your strengths? I mean, it's still not gonna hit, but. Yeah. I haven't been. No, we. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. 13. It's still not gonna None hit. of those have been These hit. guys have probably too good AC for level 1. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry. I Sorry. really should have never rolled higher than that. Well, no, I mean, if, well, I mean if, if anything, I think this is kind of awesome. Yeah. Because, like, we all saw it instinctively. We're like, well, like shit. Perception was high enough to where we saw it, and we responded to yeah. it as a group. Yeah. So it's showing teamwork. Which is yeah. Cool. And to be honest, well, worst comes to worse, their equipment is yours. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day. And which more XP. Sell. <laughs> and more XP. I designed this for a party of four or more. Nice. So all the XP goes to you guys. Yeah. Sweet. Faster leveling. Um, right. So yeah, it is Royce's turn. Okay. I slash it. All right. Hidden. Them Hidden. ranger Hidden. bonuses go into work finally. Nope. Oh, Why do you? Come on. We suck. It's official. Are we still in it? I step back. Okay. Ooh. Good choice. Okay. Very, All right. Very good choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I fuck this. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go home. Um. All right. It's the bandits' turn, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Um. One of the bandits in the cart. Uh, drops his spear and uses his move action to take out a crossbow. Son of a bitch. And He's fires high. it. Like a five foot that way. At Coulter. I was say, I'm not and he cool. hits. I'm gonna go down. For six damage. I am down. Oh shit! Alright. Oh, I, I know. But He's I'm not in negative two. So he has, eight, he has eight rounds before he dies. I'm dying, but I'm not dead. Well, wow. okay. okay, I'm sorry. Is I apparently was death half health. Death yes. is at negative ten. No, negative ten. All right, sorry about that. Culture. If somebody could stabilize me and give me like at least one point, I can hop back up and literally insta give all of them. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Shoot that guy. Go through him and get those other guys. On the bright side, it looks like the guards are coming. The so there's coming. that. Yeah. So I mean, it's only been like four rounds, so it's been like thirty seconds or whatever. Okay. So the guards are hearing, you know. Yeah, they're all. hearing all the chaos. I mean, for God's sakes, they're shut up now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And Ooh, the other one is just kind burn. of like tossing the bags that he stole into the cart. Uh, the one riding has gotten the horse under control. And say, get it in to the big guy. So at this point, the big guy is what you need. You think you need an action for when I got away from him? Oh yeah! So that Don't shoot the big guy! Works. Shoot the driver! He ready to shoot the big guy. The yeah, big guy. The damn you! When I got him away. So... So I ready up shot roll. and roll... D20, D20. And it's That's just fine. plus your... 13. So 18. That's a hit. Cool. I mean, you ignore all his armor. That would have hit even yeah. without the armor. But okay, so I roll the D8 for damage? Yep. Hurt this fucking good. I didn't do shit to him. Um, he takes sort of a, like his yeah. armor like kind of helps him against it, but and he's not like down. Yeah. But you definitely like you know, hurt him. Good. Okay. At least I gave him something. He's, he's bleeding. 
<laughs> you just watch, this nameless bandit is gonna become like a recurring <laughs> villain or something. Well, I mean, honestly, at this point, like, it's like, seeing almost all of them, except for that fucker, just getting away, it's so demoralizing. It makes and me want to kill all of them. The other one, <laughs> wipe them out. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's the first thought, it's like, it's like mm, I, I want them all dead. <laughs> Don't so worry, there are plenty of bandit there's plenty of bandit killing to come. Alright, so it's top of the round, so it's actually your turn proper. Oh, okay. So I've shot um, um you do have a melee weapon if you want. Yeah, uh, can I get out my can I move towards him? Yep, yeah. melee and you weapon. You can you know drop yeah. the blunderbuss yeah. draw as part of your movement. Yeah. So drop and move, can I get yep. here? Yeah. Up. Right here, and then I swing at him. Or, and it's you have a right, you have a similar like a right cutlass here. or a cutlass. Okay. Cutlass. You have so a right yeah. here. You have oh, a right here. Right. So, so it's, it's stab. a stab yeah. instead okay. of a stab. All right. Ah. Same idea. Uh, you're using your melee attack bonus. Okay. Whatever the bonus for your here is. So I roll this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight. Um. Click. Yeah. Just hits. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. It's all good. Well, you have them surrounded. Well, wait, do armor rapiers uh, uh, armor negating in this system? No, okay. I'm afraid not. IRL, yeah, but at a certain point, it gets too annoying. Um, and he does have like some like proper like metal plates in there. So. Okay. All right, so it is this guy's turn. He is going to swing at you with his dirk, uh, uh, and he's once again failing by rolling a five. And he is going to move 5, 10, 15, and he is next. Yep, you do get a free stab at okay. him so uh, from moving we'll another way. Try. Same idea. 16 plus 5. 5. 2. 2. So 18. Hey, that's a hit. Okay. So roll. Uh, is it a d6 or a d6? D6. D6, okay. Plus, no. Plus, plus strength. strength. Yep, plus it's strength. strength? Okay. Yeah. What's my strength? Plus 1. Mm -hmm. So give me something. Four five. or five. Oh, so that is one. a stab. Damn right. Plus one. Plus one. Six plus one right here. Yeah. So yeah, you get a nice stab in the non-armored, you know, part of his chest. You're pretty Perfect. sure you stabbed him in like the stomach or something. Nice. So I actually hurt him. Yeah. Sweet. Where which where is he? He's about to get into the cart. He's not in it yet, but he's right which there. Which square is he in? He's in um, like half half square. Is he? Like there. All right. So um, it is well your turn, but is there a, is there a system no. of self stabilization? No. No. Um, so me then. I'm, I'm yes. on the ground, just bleeding. Yeah, out. move. Let's Two. get these bastards. Three. Can I move there and not um, an attack of opportunity? Or? Yeah, because he only has his crossbow out, which is going to take a whole round for him to yeah. re. And I want to cleave at these guys. Him first. first. All right. I'll give you oh a re-roll. Oh my god! Okay, I'll, I will no, give you a re-roll. Roll it, don't get out of it, please. Use, use this die or something. No, 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 please. I gotta stick with it. I gotta stick with it. He'll come He's out. gotta make the magic happen. Now you see. What is he doing? Fuck. 15. Um, no. Yeah, damn it. I'll swing at the other guy on the cart. Alright. Hey! Uh, 18. Hey! Crossbow man, something. something. You killed the man who shot me! Oh, he dies, right? He's a minion. Yeah, he's a minion. Yeah. So the, the, the thug bandit, like, deflects your blow, but you just kind of take the momentum and just sort of, through memory of where the guy was, just kind of decapitate. Beautiful. So he just roll one, kills his friend. Oh, okay! <laughs> we take those. This works! <laughs> Alright. Uh, bandit's turn. Um, this one... Um, uh, to be honest, he's kind of in an awkward position. He can try and stab, but like... Don't do it. Don't do it. Just do it. <laughs> I don't know, he just did have like his buddy's corpse just fall into his lap. Right. So... Right, he did. <laughs> he... Is he a headless corpse though? I feel like it's a yeah. headless corpse. Yeah, so that's pretty... Ah! That's pretty scarring. Let's, let's give him a will save. And he rolled a natural one. He right. starts screaming like a small <laughs> child and drops his weapon. Oh my god. You're an evil man. This and, is he an like, evil and, and he like tries to burrow into like all the stolen like sacks of goods <laughs> or stuff to hide himself. 
Yeah, yeah top of the round. If only I was up, I wouldn't reload. Oh, okay. Flames. No, I didn't reload. Um, do, 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 do. Or you have your melee weapon. I have my melee weapon now. Five foot steps, so, stab the leader. Okay. Or uh, you can you go around and kill the driver, right? You could move the. You can try to get flanking on them. Yeah, if you go and get flanking, not only can you kill the driver, but you'll get a bonus on attacking the leader. Okay, so how do I do this? It has to be just move size. like yeah, behind him. So if I'm you here, though, can he get size. me? If I'm not engaging him, oh, fourth edition. Um, you have, you, no, like, you have your. Works, you, you can kind yeah, of yeah, engage. Like okay, so okay. Like two okay. people. <laughs> so if you move there. Here. You're going to be giving him a plus two bonus because you're flanking that okay, guy. You know, even if you're not you actually know. fighting him, that guy is now having to. Yeah, he's got to turn. He's got to turn. There's so many behind you. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now you can just shank the driver and they okay. can't get away. Can I roll? So I uh, attack driver? the driver. Yeah. Uh, you really? Are you, yeah, you're in range. Okay. Okay. So yeah, are you gonna? What, are you stabbing the driver or the horse? Um, I just stab the driver because we can steal the horse. Yeah, he's got a good point. Okay. I want to just stab the shit out of <laughs> the right. driver. And then I have a cart. Come on. For all of my goods. Oh, that Ooh. is a hit. You don't even have to add anything. He's dead. Okay, cool. Yep. Boom. So, so how do you want the, kill, the killing blow to look like? Uh, I basically want to step forward. Um, but my, my main intent, like I'm looking, I, I step forward mostly because I see him. And I'm like, like I'm going to get behind him. And in my process of stepping, I'm drunk. So I step too wide and I go like that, and it gets the driver. And he goes right through the neck. And he goes, Whoa! and so it's like, Whoop, and, and like, the driver oh, hurts oh, oh. and falls off the horse, exactly. and the horse starts panicking. Beautiful. It's not Beautiful. a horse. Yeah. Oh. And so yeah, next is going well. It's going to be the thug. Yeah. He's going to. Uh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know. He's, he was facing me. Yeah. So. Um, he also didn't step behind him. I did, I didn't just step behind him, so he's probably shoot. Ooh, shoot. He's going to, um... Oh, crap. He doesn't really have a lot of options. He messes me up, huh? He's going to try to yeah, stab let's do you. It. Let's do it. And he rolled an 11 is not going to hit. Woo! This guy, yeah, baby! Why is this guy I'm rolling so bad? Yeah, the drunk pirate! Oh, yeah. I'm so glad! <laughs> Why is the drunk pirate the most powerful <laughs> effect, combat effect? You know what? Maybe we should keep you drunk. My secret pirate. Alright. It's it alcohol. Is... I've been negative four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. It is Royce's turn now. If I... he's going to get a kill shot, it's going to be now. Damn it. You're getting plus two from the flank. Yeah. Okay. I wrote worse. Oh, damn it! Too, so. What? Oh. What is this? All right, we're gonna do an experiment. Six plus seven. So Can you please you, you roll try, try rolling this? Dice are sent to be Yay! Yay! I'll give you that one because uh, those dice seem to be poorly weighted. All right. Um, so what? Uh, Fifteen. Twenty-two. Yes, it? that hits. Okay. People never think about weighting dice. And it's true though, some dice do have tendencies towards like... Remember when you shit on me for buying these dice instead of the frosted ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do I get a bonus for damage for flanking, or is it just um, to... Is it the damage? Oh. What is the plus Let me check. Exactly? It's plus two to attack rolls. I think but... it's just attack rolls, I don't think there's any damage. Five... Plus... So, eleven points of damage. Um, yeah, that overkilled him approximately I, three times. Can I make that non-lethal? You would take a minus two, and you have to declare that you're doing that. Okay, I had, I had planned on it because I wanted to... Okay. I wanted to oh, so you're, you're, you're hilt-bashing him. Yeah. If he turns away from me, I'll bash him in the back of the head. Perfect, because right. yeah, he literally turns and he goes, help at me, so... Throw, throw the manacles on him if I, if I can. Let me just check quickly to well, see... Well, way to be the good guy. Well, I'm going to... Him in, for this. I was going to say, if he's a goody two shoes, we're not going to get along. No. <laughs> I, just, I cut that dude's head off. I know you did. <laughs> at the same time, you could have been like, oh, for justice. No. And then you're like, it may seem like the like, like, home. <laughs> Alright, it's only to the attack roll, so yeah. But and yeah, so lighting. basically the flanking cancels everything out. You still manage to hit. Right. So yeah, you <laughs> hilt bash him, so you deal you know, 11 points subduel, which is more than enough to make him see stars and nice. he is out. Yeah. Throw throw my manacles on him. Alright, yeah. there's only one guy left. 
cowering in the corner. If this fight could have turned out any other way, I don't think it could have been any crazier than this. The one who hops over the stall, dragon, we're like, we're like, we're fine, we got him. He goes down, it's like, okay, I guess we gotta do this. <laughs> oh my god. But the best part is though, is like they were all like ready to get away. We're like, we're like, we're stopping this. No, you're not getting. Mm -mm, nope, nope. You did a bad. You did a bad. Oh, this Man. Just, just don't attack innocent shopkeepers. It's not yeah, a good idea. Don't. So it's, it's I'm bad. going to say that this fight is basically over. Yeah. That guy is cowering, mm -hmm. and well, I'm so gonna have to start heading out pretty soon. Sure, we, we can at the very least get some other stuff done. Uh, yeah, see, presumably, um, no, uh, oh, just, no, I, I, I mean, like stabilizing, <laughs> stabilizing the bleeding party men. They're probably, I mean, the guards have showed up at this uh, point. I stab him and get his XP. <laughs> uh, oh, what? <laughs> got him! He's a fucking dragon, dude. <laughs> dude, a dragon. I forgot to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to use my battle music. That's right. Oh, that's I'll nice. use it. I'll save it for next time for the boss fight. This is a good, good intro fight there. A hipster yeah, character yeah. is gonna so back into the, the rules. Now for the, the fun combat. part. Get me into them in general. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, then. the guards show up, and for the sake of not killing off someone in session one, I'm going to say, you know, they help stabilize Coulter. They yeah. they, they deal with all kinds oh, yeah. of knife yeah. fights and alleys all the time. They they have the heal skill. Now for the fun part. Well, um, we'll get around to this, the reasons why you can do this, but treasure. And, and uh, you know, XP. So 800 we're, XP divided among three people. Are we doing slow, medium, or fast? Medium. Mm. Is that? Different uh, XP growth. Yeah. So everyone here gains 267 experience points. Oh, that's cool. So How much to. It's 1,000 total, first level, or second level, right? No. 2,000 to second level. 2,000? Yep. So every, again, 267 experience so, for everyone. We'll, we'll say right 2,000 there, that'll be your next level, second level. You got and trust me, you'll get that sooner. You got 267. 267? This is bandits. Bandits don't equate to anything in comparison to XP. Okay. Um, as soon as we get to our first dungeon, you're going to be like, wait a second, I, I leveled up just by stepping in the door? Cool. Uh, All right, and now for the fun, fun part, the loot. I, I claim all the weapons. I need to sell them. Um, in addition to all of their weapons, every one of the just normal bandit minions had a spear, a long spear, uh, a, and a suit of studded mail. The um, uh, bandit thug, he had a, a dirk, a buckler, and a, and a masterwork piece of studded leather that I am calling Bandit Highwayman Armor, which basically, it's studded leather, it, it counts as studded leather, but it's basically like a sort of Highwayman's cloak type deal that has sort of oh. chain mail and um, uh, sort of metal, like sort of, it's sort of a homemade deal, but sort of metal bits at like the important, like on the ribs and what stuff. Is the, what's the AC? It's a plus three AC bonus. And it's masterwork, so the armor check penalty is reduced by one. It counts. How about this part Nothing. Nothing. It's not going to affect you. It's just like leather armor in and all. Yeah, really, I don't it's, want it. it's masterwork, which reduces the check penalty by one, and it's studded leather, which only has a minus one penalty, so it has no. So, so it's the same, the same as what you have, uh -huh. but it has you no penalty. Armor check penalty. I'm taking it. I, I feel like I deserve it. I feel like well, I, I mean, deserve it. I stripped it down, but. Stripped the body. <laughs> and in all reality, you guys will soon find out what oh, is it, level five. Also, I'll take his Each of the normal ba uh, bandits had a light crossbow and ten bolts. Oh, shit, yeah. Crossbows in are addition, great. Yeah. if you wish to uh, <coughs> commandeer some of the stuff in their cart and in their uh, purses, uh, if you, one of you guys want to write this down, there are, okay. uh, between all of them, 77 gold pieces. That would be hard to divide between three people. 31 silver pieces, and 15 copper pieces. In addition... They only had silver and copper on them. <laughs> they split it between all of us. In addition... I knew you guys who would do that. I think it's in. Where did I? Put but now, it? is it is it on the card itself? And just on in like on their, their purses. purses. Okay. Oh. And in addition, whilst there are actually more of them, I couldn't fit more of them in. You guys find a, a satchel filled 
This is probably gems. These are mine if they are gems. These, are they rubles? Are they rubles or are they gems? They are they're gems. gems. They are gems. They are gems. They look like gems. Nope, there's more. Some of them fell out of the bag. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a whole variety of gems. Um, all of these are mine, and I will explain why soon. Um, if you guys want, do you guys, any of you guys have like an appraise type skill? Uh, Hell yeah. Oh, like, cool. what would it be under? It would be under... It's appraise. Like, it's appraise. It's, it's, oh, it's just appraise. straight up appraise. I know, my, my intelligence is zero. So. I have a plus one for intelligence. I have a minus one for intelligence. I'm, I'm not the right So yeah, I'd recommend, like I have a list of what they are here. Uh huh. Um, but I'd recommend can actually taking them. You can, you can roll, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Ooh. Is it each That's one of them had a light crossbow? Um, each one of the six normal, the six normies. Normies. <laughs> normies. Ten bolts of these. <laughs> yeah, well, one of them had nine, because, well, cold. It shot me. So I was to say 59 bolts. I mean, if you want to pull it, I don't like my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and the DC, you, you can take ten, but the DC is 20 for appraise checks. I'd take ten to roll a nat 20 right here, ready? Uh, no. Oh! Close. I mean, I rolled a 15. I, I know they're gems. I roll on yeah, them. I'd recommend, actually, do you want to do that next session? Uh, to see how much all the gems are worth, go and find like a jeweler or something. I'm going to find one of my merchant buddies and just go, what the hell are these? All right. Um, Again, I will tell you right now they are worth more than the gold. I think I will leave that to, for next session, though, as a little side quest. Cool. We can't sell a lot of them, though. In addition... Um, you find a couple of baskets, or a basket, and just like general like stuff they were putting their loot in. A box of charcoal, eight sets of flint and steel. One of them had a pouch of tobacco, and there is a sack of wheat. On I call it tobacco. My guy's a drinker and a smoker, and he lives by that. Okay. Eight sets of flint and steel. Mm -hmm. How many sets of flint and steel? Uh, eight. And what was the last one? Wheat. Uh, sack of wheat. You also find what appear to be like um, files filled with some like liquid. Uh, you aren't sure what it is. The label um, uh, says uh, Dr. Roman's health tincture. I drink one. I mean, there okay. are there are. I would. I would. I would, I would wear this health. There are two. Okay. Of the files. What was that last one? Uh, two files uh, li uh, marked Dr. Roman's health tincture. Tincture? Uh, I, I can't actually... Or elixir. Oh, elixir okay. is a better thing. Ro Roman or Omen? Ro you know what? Norman sounds better. Dr. Norman's health elixir. Okay. You know what? That's going to be an ongoing joke. Dr. Norman and all of his, like... Elixirs. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Norman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's totally going to be a thing. He's going to be like a famous, like, alchemist. Top billboards in every city. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, 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 dr like, druggist, sort of pharmacist type of guy. Dr. Norman's elixir is kidding Oh, he's been stabbed. Don't worry, I got this stuff from Dr. <laughs> Norman. He'll fix your day up. <laughs> you have a picture like the old, like, sort of... Piss. <laughs> like the like ads or whatever for you know miracle drugs. Yeah, exactly, and... exactly what it is. Just like a fifties billboard. Just... Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm Dr. thinking Norman. older. Think that like old right like up. Wild West or oh, even like seventeen hundred. Like, yeah. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. All right. Like so shock therapy's good for people, <laughs> right? All right. So I think that's where we're gonna end off for the night.